Hello, StarCraft fans! It's Valka Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. And today it's going to be another One Trick Wednesday. I know it's been a while, but today it's going to be Base Rush. The intent behind this challenge is you have to build a base inside your opponent's main base before you do anything else. Well, before you produce army units. Anyway, top left hand corner, we have the Red Terran player. From the Falpal clan, it is Somicron. And in the bottom right-hand corner, it is the blue Terran player, Frudge from Tron 1C. It's going to be Frudge versus Somicron here. Going for the gas, going for the supply depot, so we can keep making SCVs. The gas, I have to assume this is going to be a planetary fortress rush, just because that's all you can do is Terran, as it turns out. But thank you to my screeners. I got about five people to get me their results back. And this is one of them that they chose. Three of the five voted on this one as worthy of casting. Another one got four of the five. And then a couple more had two of the five's votes. So, again, having one person tell me it's worth casting is definitely good. Having more than one is fantastic. Samagron is running away with this SCV as fast as he can go. He's sending two more out here. So I think he's going to try to sneak around. Try and do some sneakiness because he can't use this one. It's a planetary fortress rush at all. And that dies. And I think Frudge says, okay, we got this handled. We got this taken care of. You really should be scouting yourself. And Frudge is, in fact, going to go for the scout up here. So let's see if he can get the scout. No, Summercon going to wall off. He's going to wall off the top and say, you're not scouting. This should tell you something's happening, though. This should tell you there's something going on that you don't want me to see. I need to keep special attention to my base. Got to watch my natural, too. Got to check for proxies. Out here in this area, probably maybe proxies in here. Generally, third bases are the place that the proxies are going to come down. So, so you can build the command center out here, lift it up, land it in the main base, and then upgrade it to a planetary fortress. We can't get inside the main, and he can't. This is a wall off. We've got marine production here. Thankfully for him, it's not a reaper, because a reaper would just kill him at this stage. Reaper would be able to come hop up this little cliff area, uh, because that's the only way in here in Acid Plant. It's not that great of a place for reapers, but this works, and this works too. And then coming in with some good Reaper control. Samakaran loses all of his workers. That's the end of the story. But as it stands, he is going to build a command center here on the low ground. And Frudge, we'll see what he does. We'll see how Frudge reacts to this. As I mentioned previously, Samakaran is part of the Falpal clan. If you'd like to do that, join the Discord. There's a Discord server invite link in the description of this video. Come say hello. We've got about 200 members. StarCraft fans, Brood War fans, Falcon Paladin fans, Fatman TV fans as well. Fatty TV. If you have ever watched him on the Twitch, up-and-coming Protoss streamer, really great guy. That's kind of a gathering place for all of us to talk about StarCraft, talk about sports ball, talk about other video games that we are playing, how our days went. It's just kind of a place to congregate with people who are similar to yourself. Yeah, Discord's pretty good that way and pretty friendly to gaming, too. You can see what people who are on the server are playing at this point in time. Right now, on my Discord server, it shows that I'm playing StarCraft 2, so people know that I'm probably casting is generally how that works, and I'm there every day. So if you want to interact with the Falcon Paladin, not face-to-face, -face, but in a direct way, better than YouTube comments anyway, then head on over to the Discord, and uh, we'll make it happen. Is he double command centering here? Somicron going for two command centers. What is Frudge working on? Frudge is working on a lot of Marines, Marauders, getting Stim. He's got double gas. He has not expanded. This is a one-base timing attack with Stim and plus one attack. Now, this obviously is not Grandmaster. This is going to be substantially lower than that. But at the same time, uh, it is still good enough to where this is an impressive maneuver to pull off a planetary fortress rush at all. No matter what level your opponent is, is actually pretty difficult to do, and especially at the four-minute mark. So he's going to come right on in and say, you know what? If I'm going to land here, might as well land right up next to his command center in range of that anyway. Did he get high-sec auto-tracking? It looks like he already did. Upgrade says yes. Yes, in fact, he has. Okay, Frudge, where's your attention, man? Research complete. It's out here, you guys. It's out here in the front. He has... Oh, now he sees it! Now he's coming back. All right. That little delay, that little timing worked out so well for Somicron. He's got to repair. He's got to be repairing this thing. There are just seconds remaining. How many? Ten seconds to go. The repair is helping, but is it enough? I don't know. The SCV gets picked off there, too. I think the Planetary Forces will get a shot off. No! Ends up exploding in flames. 
Well handled there by Frudge. He might have overstimmed a little bit. These guys are pretty low on HP, but guess what? Summicron has a backup. He got the backup command center flying here. And I love the detail that goes into this game. Look at this little tiny light spinning. We got smudges on the metal. It's not just like perfect looking. Ugh, Blizzard, your artists are stupid good. Frudge throws up a bunker at the front of Somicron, not realizing he doesn't really need to do so. He does have a planetary fortress back home, so that's cool. I'm down with that. No, this is not a good place for a planetary. He's going to unload the SCV and then try it again. I, <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. I really don't see this working. Five, six marines can do a lot of damage against this guy. Oh, they see the SCV repairing back there. It's only one Marauder this time, whereas there were several Marauders attacking at the time before. I love this Marine just attacking at a point-blank range. I, yeah, I don't think he even cares. Why would he care if there's a Planetary Fortress in the corner of his base? I don't think he can hit anything. Can it hit this reactor? I don't think so. I'm going to go with no. Rudge attacking up the front here. And the only possible saving grace here for Somicron is that a lot of these guys have very low HP. Can you actually hit? Well, I guess free Marines. If they want to come in range, that's cool. Oh, they can hit... Can't hit the reactor. Dang. Did not expect that. Planetary Fortress defending and wrecking. <laughs> 14 kills on that Planetary Fortress. That's amazing. That's really, really good. Meanwhile, Marines keep coming up to try to kill this guy. Another command center coming up. All right, this is a crazy game. I can see why this was voted for three times out of the five. Absolutely. Another Planetary Fortress here. So basically, Somicron says... Uh, Base rush, to me, means making nothing but planetary fortresses. And you know what? I don't think he's wrong. I think he's wrong about this. Building more SCVs to help repair. This guy's up to nine kills. He can actually hit this barracks. Dude, Frudge, lift the barracks. Lift the barracks, move it somewhere else. You don't have to have it right there. Terran buildings can move. It's a pro tip from Falcon Paladin. That's a free one. It's a free, free pro tip from... Oh, they're always free. Who am I kidding? They're always free. Yeah, he lifted it. All right, so we got it out of there, which is nice. Uh, that takes forever to build. Did he get it canceled once? Why is it only at 800 HP? An attack must have come in and canceled it. Yeah, that's probably what happened. I was so focused on these guys. So focused on these guys. Still 14 kills on that planetary fortress, though. Hmm. Did they come back home? They must have come back home. I don't know. We'll keep a better eye on the minimap, though. This SCB's like, is there an expansion somewhere? No. This is one base versus one base. I cannot believe he's building another one, Samacron. All right, he's going to try to land. This is not going to work. This one is not going to happen today. we got a lot of SCVs to repair this sucker. Go. SCVs trying to repair, but also getting... Okay, if they want to get in range of this planetary fortress while they're trying to kill the SCVs, that's fine, I think. Oh, they're so low on HP already. The stims are not doing them much favors. Pew, goodbye, a little... Ooh, that guy just burns to death where he's standing. This one's going to finish. Frudge's response, and, response to this has not been ideal. I think Somicron's going to win this sucker. Are you kidding me right now? This one's going to finish, and I think it's in range to hit this orbital command at the very least. Ow. 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 Look at these death animations. They're so great. Kablooey. <laughs> Forty-four Marines and ten Marauders have died to planetary fortresses in this game so far. Sometimes they catch on fire and die, and sometimes they just turn into little red splats of blood. I don't know what the difference is. I'm not sure actually how that works. How about this guy? See? Fire. Man, they put a lot of attention into those death animations, and I don't think most people even look at them closely enough to tell what's going on. I really don't. This one could have been closer, I feel like. Finally lifting that barracks as it's literally on fire and burning to death. Wow, that PF can hit that refinery? That's pretty nice. See, look. Get tossed in the air on fire. Sometimes they get blown away. There's no fire at all. I mean, the variety. That's what makes this game great, honestly, is the variety of stuff that happens here. Uh, the screenshot, actually, for one of my... Oh, one of my casts. I think my Scarlet composition I posted on Sunday. The amount of attention to detail that Blizzard put into the acid saliva shot from Orochi is insane. You'd think it's just a green whatever. No, no, no. 
They animate the liquid coming out of the roach's mouth, like, perfectly. And no one ever zooms in to look at that. No one's like, oh, I wonder what the roach's saliva looks like when you get close to it. I, I did. I, I did, after how many years of playing StarCraft 2, and said, oh, wow, there it is. I guess it helps, too, that my graphic settings are on the Super Ultra of all time. They're as high as they can possibly go. So that helps, but uh, still. Oh, boy. Frudge is siege tanking. Which does shut down planetary fortresses pretty well. I don't... I mean, this is kind of working for Somicron, but at the same time, he can't stop this, and he can't stop this, and he is expanding himself. Tanks. Shelling. That... Yeah, that one gets cancelled. This one that's up. Just nothing can be done about it. He's trying to get let this one finish. It's not getting target fired by Frudge. This one's going to be able to be complete, but it can't hit this siege tank either. Liberator. Oh, Liberator. Such a beautiful choice. All right. Now you can't even repair. So this Liberator will just destroy all of you. Yeah, it sure seems like it blows the SCVs away, doesn't it? Okay, so it's 43 to 23 supply. Liberator says there's no repairing going on. This... Don't give the Planetary Fortress more kills for no reason, Frudge. Don't be, don't be, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't come in here, you guys, really. How are you gonna die? Where you stand? All right, so PF down, PF down. This is the most committed to Planetary Fortress rush I've seen ever, so good job, Somicron. But I think you've lost this game. Missile turret, okay. Gets the Liberator, but still, this base is harvesting, this base should be harvesting. This base is working for Somicron, though. But when it comes down to what's available for army supply, three tanks, yeah, the tanks alone. Creep up, put one here where it can hit this and this, and then send your stuff across the map and go win. I think so, well, that's what Frudge has to do know. This is his decision making. He knows this exists, so I think going to kill it is probably a priority of his. Tanks. Yeah, shelling this planetary fortress. SCV's trying to repair, but splash damage. Splash damage hit them? It doesn't, actually. So you get splash damage off tank fire shots when they're in siege mode, but apparently not on SCVs that are repairing this planetary fortress. I guess they're far enough away from the center that it doesn't count as splash? That's interesting. I wonder if somebody has written something about that. So despite the repair, that one goes down. Little smoking crater that fills in, by the way. Isn't that weird? Psycho was never there. The land heals itself. And here goes a small marine tank drop out of Frudge. Yeah, he should be able to set up like right here and just way all the way on this natural base and win the game. That's what I'm feeling right now. So, yep, tanks getting rid of the final. I like how you can load up SCVs in Planetary Fortress. Not that they're going anywhere, mind you. He has the upgrade for Neo Steel, right? Yep, Neo Steel frame. That's why he can fit so many SCVs in these slots. Because he got the upgrade for it. Which is fantastic. Drop from Frudge says, Alright, this is a weird, weird game. Can unload right here. Put the tank in siege mode. Set the marines up and hold positions. So they don't try to attack the planetary fortress. Liberator shows up. Oh, Liberator gets taken down. Marines with... Healing. Doing pretty well against these SCVs. And there's your good game. Somicron's out. Frudge is the winner. Somicron, our first attempt for base to rush one trick Wednesday is not successful, but that's okay. That's okay. There is honor. There is honor in attempting and not succeeding and making an entertaining game anyway and then sending it in. Honestly, I, I respect that so much. Okay, second game coming our way. Let's we'll see if we get some success this time or not. I don't know. I don't watch these in advance. That's what screeners are for. But we'll be back in just a bit. All right, game two is going to be between Ellie the Dawn and Mr. Goodcat here on Dreamcatcher, the latter edition. Bottom right-hand corner, Red Protoss player, Mr. Goodcat, which is a great name. And his opponent far, far away in the top left corner, the Blue Protoss player, Ellie the Dawn from the Falpal Clan as well. All righty then, here we go. PvP. Hmm... I wonder how base rush works in Protoss versus Protoss. 
I assume Ellie Thedon submitted this, so maybe he will show us. Probe scouting is Mr. Goodcat. Worker scouting is so important, you guys, at the lower levels. I know I say it a lot, but it's very, very true. Very true. And here goes the forge. Actually, is he? Wow, Mr. Goodcat is trying to cannon rush. <laughs> the cannon rush is on! Meanwhile, Ellie the Dawn is going to build a nexus inside. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be interesting. You have enough for it. You got the 400. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Okay, the, you got to kill. I don't know if you can kill this, but it's so far away from your base. I'm not sure that actually matters. And here comes the nexus. Yes! The Nexus is on the way from Ellie the Dawn in Mr. Goodcat's base. All right, so probes are basically fighting this. Four probes, enough to take down a cannon. No big deal. Also trying to get rid of these pylons. He's losing a lot of worker time here, but I think that's okay. I think it's fine. He's living. If you can kill this guy, get it. Get him. Get the guy. Yes. Okay, so probe down. That helps immensely. Now you just go back to work, right? Because there's no probe around. He has to walk a probe clear the heck all the way across the map to get a cannon. And by then, you probably have zealots. And he's just not... Is he going to bother? <laughs> I was going to say, he shouldn't bother. But you know what? He bothering. He's bothering is what he's doing. Look who's hiding. I love this. That is so... Ooh. Ooh. That's close to not hidden anymore, but it's still hidden. Yeah, don't go out there. Don't make your opponent suspicious, Mr. Probe. You stay right th No, what did I just say? Oh, I don't know if that was visible or not. Pylon coming up here, too. All right, what are the plans? What are the plans? That's your gateway. This pylon is going to die. The probe is back for Mr. Goodcat. He's continuing to try to make this thing work, even though it really didn't... No, no, nothing worked there. All right, man. There's your base. Base in your base, and here's the recall <laughs> of all of the probes. And here it is! Surprise worker rush! No, 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 kill the probes! Kill the probes! I guess you could kill all these buildings, that's fine. If you can kill this pylon before the gateway is able to make a zealot, you know what? I don't think Mr. Goodcat's even paying attention here. Uh, no, he's up here trying to base rush. He's up here trying to cannon rush. I apologize. Oh! He sees it. He sees it now. What is the worker count even? The worker count is 25 to 14. Ellie the Dawn has more workers and that's it. That's your good game. <laughs> okay, not literally a good game, but the game's over. And Ellie the Dawn wins this thing. His, at the second, his probes kill this forge. Look at that. Look at that pretty animation. Rocks, smoke, big old explosion going past those probes. Amazing. Even a little piece of the forge still remaining down there. Look at that. Ah, that was great. That was amazing. He's up here trying to cannon rush. He's like, I got this. I got that natural base. I'm going to shut it down. And by the time he looks back, he's outnumbered by workers. He can't power this gateway. And he's like, oh. And he's done. The recall of workers. Beautiful. Beautiful game, Ellie the Dawn. Very, very, very appreciated. Okay, shorter one. Shorter one there, but good. Good nonetheless. Let's come back with game three, and uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, got a ZVZ this time for game three of the One Trick Wednesday. Top right-hand corner, the red Zerg player, Bus Driver. And bottom left, the blue Zerg player, Nobility. All right, so we're going to try to do this thing once a month. One Trick Wednesday. All right, so I'm going to put a link to a survey in the description. If you want to vote on the next One Trick Wednesday, go ahead and click on it and vote. And I will announce it. Let's see. Announce what it is in Discord and over Twitter and Facebook. So if you want to know... Go ahead and join the Discord server, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash falconpaladin, or facebook.com slash falconpaladin, and it will come up. It will come up there for sure. You know what? I might announce it too in a future something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. The first couple are a little bit weird this way. But after that, after that, it makes a lot of sense. So who is going to go for the... Who's going to go for the hatch play? Ah, nobility. Nobility is very nobly going for the hatch, the proxy hatch inside his opponent's base. Proxy hatch is probably my favorite thing in all of StarCraft. I just remember the first time I saw cats do it in StarCraft 2, and I was like, oh, this appeals to me on a very basic level. Yeah, so he just, against a Terran, he just threw a hatch down in the natural base and, like, 
spined his way up, and it was great. It was amazing. This was back in uh, Wings of Liberty, I want to say it was. It was that long ago. But it still works. It's still pretty good, especially if your opponent doesn't scout it. And honestly, in ZBZ, I can't remember the last time I scouted around the dark areas of my main base. So this could happen to me. What I do, however, do is drone scout. So if you drone scout here and see your opponent doesn't have a natural yet, and they have a pool, and they have an extractor, then, and it's late, right? The pool should be done by now if this is a pool first play, and it's not. This is definitely a hatch first play on the other side of the map. Then you start scouting. Then you start looking around. You get a bunch of lings, probably more lings than you normally would make at this stage of the game, and everything works out. But the question is, will he notice the creep? He will notice. Will he? Will bus driver notice the extra creep coming out of this, out of this fog of war? Let's see when he can see it. Because it, there it is. He can see it now. His attention is elsewhere. It's down at the natural base. He is sending some workers down. He sees the Overlord scouting. And really, on the mini-map, it's so hard to tell there's extra creep up there. There's extra creep up there on the top left of your, of your vision, bus driver. He doesn't see it. He's completely oblivious to this. Drones out. What is this skin? I kind of like it. You've got scary green eyes and big old claw, lobster claws going. Spine up. More drones? These drones are going to give it away. No, 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 drones. Why? Why would you walk up here? Oh, a queen's out, though. Spines are on the way. All right. Uh, bus driver. A million zerglings. Now, he's making four lings as he pulled it. He's not quite sure if he wants to pull the drones or not. This is very, very tense. This is a very, very tense situation. This is going to be... It's going to be decided here in the next minute or so whether or not this is actually going to work. If you let three spines come down, you're in trouble. Although they're not in range of anything, so you have to lift them and walk them and then replant them, which does give you time. Also, Nobility is throwing some lings away on that queen, so that's not great. Don't want to do that. Uh, definitely not. However, you can't let these spines finish. I'd almost just pull the drones. Pull the drones, kill these while they're morphing. It's too late for that now, obviously. Spine crawler covering pretty well. The spine gonna die? I don't know. Spine Queen Ling, pretty amazing at helping with it. It does go down. <gasps> it didn't go down. Eight hit points. What? Oh, it does. The queen finishes it before she dies. But now the queen is gone, and now there's Lings inside the base of Bus Driver, inside the mineral line of Bus Driver. There's been Lings in here for a while. Retreat. Full retreat. Oh, he got speed too. Nobility got speed. The drones are fighting. Not with the spine and not with the, the Lings. Oh, boy. Okay, some lings pop out where there's two spines and lings defending. This is not a good time for Bus Driver here, and that's it. Bus Driver rage quits. Or perhaps does not know the etiquette about quitting and saying GG. Nobility is victorious in four minutes. And he got it done. He got it done with the proxy hatch. Not reacted to particularly well from Bus Driver. Again, I still think you gotta get in there and take down those spine crawlers before they finish. The spines were the death of you at that point. Pull some drones to do it. Bring your lings along if you want to. Kill the queen. Once the queen's down, there are a couple lings defending and that was it. I think there was a window where a bus driver could have made it happen, but just was a little bit too too secure in his ability to defend after that point and ended up losing. I eat. So we've got a couple more. A couple more to go here. It's not a very big one trick Wednesday, but I figured we would uh, cast the ones that got votes. So we'll do that. Coming back your way in just a second. Hey, it's Darkness Sanctuary. Hmm, this should be interesting. Bottom left-hand corner, Red Protoss player Fantasy, which is the name of a professional Terran Brood War player. Pretty sure it's not the same person. And in the top left-hand corner, the blue Terran player, Jabel. Possibly Yabel, depending on what language that's in. Doesn't appear recognizable as any language, to be honest. It's probably just a name of some kind, so Jabel it is. Jabel versus Fantasy. We have three probes running around for Fantasy. He wants to know where his opponent is. It's a big old four-player map. This, If you want to know where your opponent is, you have to do this. You have to send one probe out, because what if he's down here and he's scout clockwise from the wrong position starting? You're never going to get there in time. So I have to assume this is going to be our proxy Nexus player. Luckily, first probe out, closest rush position finds it. So what are you going to do now, little guy? What's your plan, Fantasy? Working on those 300 minerals. Heading over... This is so suspicious. I can't believe Jabel's going to let this happen. Probe walks up, says, hmm. Goes over into... The, yeah. <laughs> Jabel's like, uh... What? Wow. In full view of the SCV, throws down the Nexus. Okay. Here goes nothing. What? SCV's running over to kill this thing. I don't... Do you really need to do that? 
Get a couple marines. It takes a while to build. Keep that in mind. I don't... Wow, this SAV trying to knock it down. That just seems entirely unnecessary. It really does. Double gas opening from Jabel, which is interesting. He had something in mind, but... Now, what's in mind is making sure he doesn't die to this weird Nexus stuff. Can't necessarily blame him. Pylon on the way here, too. Is he making a forge, or...? I mean, the rule was the first thing you do is build a base in your opponent's base. So that's what he did. I guess you could cannon rush off of it, but... Here's the forge. All right, so this is this is the spirit. This is the spirit of the challenge. He's doing it. This probe needs to stay alive, though, and I don't know if it can. There's marines in production. You could do a cannon. You could do it and hope Jabel doesn't recognize what you're doing, little guy. Come on. Oh, you dead now. All right, that's not gonna work. Nope. Cannon's not gonna happen. Uh, I guess you could do that recall thing. What's your worker count? 18 to 19, though. That's not great. And SCVs are fantastic in battles, too, because they don't have that auto-heal function. So they're given extra abilities to fight other workers in the worker rush type scenario. Well, I think that's it. I think that's it for fantasy. I don't see what else he can do here. I love the animation. You're hip-firing, right? Like... Those people who are familiar with guns, hip-firing on a semi-automatic basis, just... It's hard to hit stuff, but pylons are pretty big by comparison. So maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Alright, so what's the follow-up fantasy? What you gonna do, friend? Is he gonna leave this here? Dude, you got... I, mm. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing! <laughs> He's setting up a perimeter and being like, all right, nobody approach the Nexus. It is off limits to all Terran civilians. I don't know why he wouldn't be killing this. If these Marines are just sitting here, standing guard, one of them looking at the Nexus instead of the other way, but that's okay. He'll get his, he'll get his memo later. And here's the recall. Okay. Wow, probes 26 to 23 of them here. The Marines are going to die. Slow Marines are really bad against workers. Slow Marines without any upgrades are really bad against workers. All right, so the Marines are toast. This is going to be really hard. Did he... S oh, right. I was like, how do I get a probe in here, derp? Uh, anyway, it's going to... You know what would be nice here is a cannon. This is a really crazy game. Probes fight. Probes, you gots to fight. I don't know about this. Here's our battle, though. Rawr. I don't know who's winning this thing. It's 26 to 20, though. 26 to 18. Oh, he's not trying to fight. He's trying to run. Oh, Jabil's running. He's got a thousand minerals. He could build a base somewhere else. That's what he's doing. He's doing a full evacuation. <laughs> I was worried this game would be less interesting than it is. So I'm glad it worked out. Thank you, screeners, for your hard work there. Oh, here's a small battle. We are fighting this one. SCV's winning this one handily, though. Are they? They look like they were, but nope. That went real poorly for them in the end. Okay, so it was 28 to 5 harvesters. Uh, Fantasy should win this game. 100%. We're killing the refinery like that matters at this point. Pull back, probe. Pull back to the cannon. Or the Marine could walk right into the cannon himself. That's fine. That's in his aggro range. No big deal. So Jabel, you know what? I guess here's a good place to land. I don't see a problem with it. Unless you're just... You don't know where the Protoss player is. You do. You're scouted here. Okay. So maybe you're going to get revenge and build inside <laughs> Fantasy's main? <laughs> He's long distance mining from these minerals. Jabel. Or Fantasy, rather. You're so silly. You're such a silly player. Where's Jabel going? Got to reestablish, man. You got two SCVs. You don't have an orbital command. You got to start rebuilding your economy now. Oh, probe. Almost scouted this. Was almost there in time to scout this command center. But then wasn't. Pew, This SC I was going to say, if that SCV goes back to that refinery, you're going to die. Alright, so Fantasy sets up a base inside Jobel's base. This is called Base Rush. I approve. I approve of this method of playing the game under the constraints of the challenge that I ordered. So, great job. Great job. Alright, we're speeding this one up, because nothing is going to happen for a bit here. I do not see anybody attacking. I don't see anybody really defending anything. 
I mean, they're going to kill these supply depots, which is totally fine. But otherwise, what else is going to happen here? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell me now. What is going to happen? Terran player trying to get up would be real nice, dude, is an orbital command. It'd be incredible if you could upgrade to an orbital command. But no, not going to happen. Getting that marine count up here. Ooh, scouted. All right, so we scouted. Would have mind killed it, which seems a little bit unnecessary. And here goes Jabel. He's going to push out with a tank and a few marines. And you know what? Might actually get some stuff done here. I like this from Jabel very much. No, dude, you have to go up the ramp. Do you not wait, man? Hey, you know this is here. You've scouted this somehow with something. Maybe a scan. Look at that weird state that pylon's in with the scan. It's crazy. All right, so what do mine sets up? Tank, gotta join this party. We really need the tank to do something. In siege mode, preferably. Oh, a void ray. If you can bait the Void Ray into this Widow Mine. Oh, Tank gonna die so fast. Though! Widow Mine get. Ah, alright. Well defended, Fantasy. That could have been difficult, actually. But Target fired down the tank pretty well. Widow Mine did fire, but not on the Void Ray, which is a bummer for Jabel. And it's 61 to 22 supply. So I think at this point, Jabel can pretty much just walk down and kill this stuff. He's not doing that. So we're going to speed up. Yeah. I mean, if he just kind of wandered down here with that Void Ray, he'd win. I know there's three Marines, but that's not enough anti-air to kill a Void. Four Marines, five Marines, and a Widow Mine, maybe. Maybe now the window is closed. But these Adepts are firing and got the Zealots in there, too. Stalker's doing stuff. Are you? Wow. Expanding way across the map is Jabel. That's kind of weird. All right. Well, hidden expansions, I suppose. Expanding again. If there's natural, is fantasy at, like, the 11-minute mark is very fun. You're going to do it? You're going to go up this ramp? Oh, Observer, no! Falls in the water. Look at that. They've got physics for how broken stuff behaves when it falls in the water. That one floats. Okay, Void Rays. Are we just walking past the tanks? <laughs> oh, it's a planetary fortress. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to kind of stay here, out of the range of the planetary fortress, out of the range of the tanks. These marines are a bit of a problem, but the immortal can hit them from distance too. Factory goes down, so no more tanks for you, which is a pretty big deal. Zealots do not have charge. Which is, he researching that? No, nobody's researching anything right now. You have prismatic alignment, guy? You have prismat- No, don't let the missile turret kill you! Why are you not attacking the missile turret? This is hurting me. Ugh. Well, too late. Well, I got the base anyway. It's pretty good stuff. That tank, man. He, he has, wants to kill this stuff. But, hey, there we go. I was going to say, wouldn't wander into his range. And now is and actually sitting in the range. So, goodbye. Goodbye, stalker there. All right, well, Jabel's second base is to be in flames here. Secret base on the right side of the map is still alive, though. Oh, Jabel, I really admire your persistence here, but... I mean, I just don't see it working as the thing. You got the scout. Okay, so here's the scout. He's going to fly over this. Come on, now I'm on four bases. <laughs> Says fantasy. <laughs> Indeed. Gonna kill this medevac just for good. And there it is! Javel left with the lull. Tapped out. Fantasy's gone too. Alright, so that was fun. That was a fun little one. Really did turn into a four basing Protoss. <laughs> It all started with that worker rush, which Jabel inexplicably decided not to attack the Nexus. I just, Terran players, let me know in the comments what that was about. What is his thought process there, and why would he not attack the Nexus? Excuse me. Hmm. Good times. All right, I think our last one's coming up here. we got one more to go. Yep, we'll check it out, and we'll be right back. We've got another Ellie the Dawn. Made it into the base rush one trick twice. Well done. 
Bottom left-hand corner, the red Protoss player this time is named Kawai. And in the top right-hand corner, the blue Terran player, it is Ellie the Dawn. Still with his Protoss stuff. Still the Protoss star from Carbot. Still the Protoss, like, Nexus commander from Carbot. I believe that's who that is anyway, with a big old hat. And the perpetually panicked look on his face. So here we go. Ellie the Dawn trying to go for the base rush here. It's going to be another Terran attempt. It's going to be our second Terran attempt. One was the planetary fortress rush from Summicron. And this one's going to be from Ellie the Dawn. There's nothing else you can do here, man. You got to, yeah. First, Supply Depot. You're going to start getting the gas at some point. Engineering Bay is also pretty important in the situation. But, yes. Going to use the Engineering Bay to wall off. Okay, I like that very much. I really do. Again, the problem here is going to be... If you wall off, the Protoss player is going to see what's going on. This is a situation where Protoss is not worker scouting, though. Opening double gateway? Because he knows your opponent's Terran, right? Why would you open double gateway against Terran? Kawhi has plans. Kawhi has his own build he's working on, it would seem. Double gas opening from Ellie the Dawn. And this is... CV is going to try to get stuff done. He's got a little bit of an area he can squeak on in here. Don't just go for the corner immediately. Maybe Kawhi didn't see it. He saw it. Though, he did. Ugh. Oh, juked. Almost juked. All right, well, don't die is the plan right now. You're going to win. Nope, not after a couple extra early zaps there. You're not going to win that battle. Get out. Get out. Build your thing. Go. Oh, another one. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. This is not going to work. And he's like, oh, no, you win. Oh, hell, why? No, my plans are all foiled. He <laughs> snuck one behind you when you weren't looking. Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. All right, Ellie the Dawn. Let's see if we can do this thing. Oh, Kawhi thinks he's won. Kawhi thinks he killed the only SCP that was in here. Zealot trying to hold. I just opening Zealot against Terran's also really bad. Don't do these things, you guys. Sometimes One Trick Wednesdays and cheese compilations feature lower level players doing stuff that you might be tempted to copy. Don't do it. Don't try it. It just will go super poorly for you. Probe Scout did get up here and attempt some. Actually, got in. Saw the early engineering bay without a barracks, and dude, at that point, all right, at that point, you assume planetary fortress, but I maybe Kawhi is also assuming he killed the only SEV he had to worry about. What do you think? I think that's what happened. I do. I really do. A couple zealots out. Not actually. This is kind of working out for Kawhi, because zealots are better against buildings than adepts are. If he'd open adepts, might not have gone so great. But usually, it's adept into stalker. So. Or just Stalker, honestly, in PBT. Stalker would have been pretty good in the situation, too. Another SCV goes down. Flaming Wreckage up against that Cybernetic score. Are you doing the thing here? This can't, You can't hit anything from here. Well, I was going to make a barracks here, too. Okay, so Ellie the Dawn, once again, the spirit is you build the base first. And then you can build other stuff after it. This does not have to be you only build bases inside your opponent's base. Just kind of waiting is what we're doing right now. Death Zealot, crazy stuff, another gateway, another gateway, Templar Archives, and a Twilight Council. So Kawhi is doing things, which I like. He's spending his money, he's 26 to 25 Harvesters. Okay, now this you can see. Now this, but guess what? Planetary Fortress is here to defend that sucker. Zealot, no, evaporates in midair. How's the Adept gonna die? Adept does get the SCV. Another explosion into midair stuff here. This is working. This is working for Ellie the Dawn. Where are your units, Kawaii? Make things. Shield, I guess the shield battery kind of helps. Is he trying to defend this with cannons? The problem is he kind of needs immortals or stalkers. I don't think zealots are going to help here. Stalkers can outrange, right? Can get this bunker without getting hit by the planetary. Zealots are no good. Zealots are not good in this situation. Yeah, they're kind of being held back in reserve for good reason because they can't help right now another barracks here bunker with marines inside don't do it he's got charge 
He's getting hit by that other barracks. Uh, he's not quite sure what to do with these guys. Not quite sure what he wants to do. And indecision will kill you. It will be the death of you. Go, load it up. Load it up. All right, Zealot's going for it. Rawr, bunker. Okay, just get in the other bunker. Get in the other bunker, guys. There it is. Oh, they all got in the other bunker. That's amazing. That's so good. All the Zealots are dead. This cannon's going to die. That cannon's probably going to die. Marines and bunkers are pretty good at this. Although, maybe that cannon's going to finish. Repair! Three SCV repair! Oh my gosh! Is it holding? It's holding! It's a miracle! Trying to kill... Alright, gonna have to drain all the energy off that shield battery, which actually wasn't too hard. Dang, Planetary Fortress helping, getting some big time shots off there. That cannon is going to die. Zealot dead too. Another cannon comes out, but it doesn't have the help of the shield battery because the shield battery is out of energy. Another cannon comes up. Planetary Fortress starts going to work on the Assimilator. Four Zealots warp in. Try to kill this bunker that has not been able to be killed yet, mind you. Planetary is helping with this too. Now this guy is virtually indestructible. If four Zealots can't kill a bunker, it's going to be a bad, bad time. Here come the... Oh, probes, no. Probes, probes. Probes, don't come in here. Probes, it's bad for you here. Shield battery comes up with... I guess you could heal some of these buildings, but no cannons or units to heal. Kawhi says, I got my natural. I have my natural. That's all that matters right now. Shield battery toast. That's a bit of an artosis pylon, but nah, not really. Yeah, that's still powered anyway. No big deal. Still building command centers. Still going to go for this push of planetary fortresses is Ellie the Dawn. It is a sad sight to behold for the Protoss here. Are you still trying to make... Why are you making workers here? These workers can't get out. These workers will go to their deaths. Look at this one. Shield battery can only do so much, man. The Lithodon is kind of overcommitting with bunkers here, but I guess you can salvage those. That's pretty good. Marauders are shooting through that command center to hit that warp gate. Have you ever considered that? you ever considered that you can shoot through your own building? Really? That's as far back as we went? So that, but look at this one. It passes through the commands. We are learning a lot about how graphics work in this game, aren't we? You can pass through a building to hit something on the other side of it. Huh. Zealots, on the other hand, here to wreck house. Oh, there aren't any planetary fortresses here. This might be... Oh, boy. Ellie, save its flight. Okay. This is not going well, suddenly, for Ellie the Dawn. Zealots got inside his main base. He doesn't have any planetary fortresses. He's got to run. He's got to run. And he is. He's going to end up taking this base, I feel like. Can he get it? This is really walled off. I don't know. And that's a cannon. I don't know if his SCVs can get back here. To help with this. There's zealots here too. Is he gonna bother upgrading this one? He is gonna upgrade this one. Nope, cancelled. And then re and then cancelled and then re He wants this one to be an orbital command. Guess he wants to take this base, is the concept here. Alright, so depowering all these warp gates, making them useless to the Protoss Empire. Here come the SCVs. They are taking some major casualties trying to get up that ramp, but three of them make it in? Wow, that's more than I expected with zealots and a cannon sitting there. Good job, guys. Good job, SCVs. All right, high ground advantage here. Zealots trying to go up, but that is just absolute suicide, you zealots. Don't do this. Don't do this. Not all of you can attack. And at the same time, I'm not sure attacking into the cannons and the zealots at the same time is a good idea, Ellie the Dawn, but it's working, I guess. Man, that charge. That charge is a good ability.
Meanwhile, guess who's floating over this way? A couple orbital commands. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's 22 to 24 total supply. Most of that for Kawhi is going to be in worker count, though. Actually, pretty much almost all of it, except for this guy. Going to be in worker count. Thinks about going down this ramp and decides not to. Are you gonna? Guess he can high ground harass a little bit here. I don't know if you want to come up here, Adept. Seems like a bad place to be. Oh, gonna finish that transfer. Ugh. Well, dead. Concussive shell is done. As we can see by that slow ability. Income gonna go through the roof of the Terran player. 1,000 versus 700 per minute here. Stalker comes up the ramp, gets slowed and killed. Dude, coming up the ramp is just a death sentence. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Mules getting called down to try to absorb the cannon shots, but they have a prioritization system. They won't hit workers if there's other stuff that can attack them in range. <gasps> is he going to nuke? He's going to try to nuke this. Okay, this is getting interesting. This is getting interesting. Is that the female ghost model? I think it is. I believe it is. All right, so we're going to nuke down Kawhi's base from the high ground. He has an expansion coming up here, but I think one well-placed nuke would pretty much wreck his morale. So if we can get that sucker off. Got about five more seconds to go on it. Yeah, I'm trying to get some cannons, but it's not going to work. Oh, you're going to see the ghosts, aren't you, Adept? Yep, going to see the ghosts and have some concerns about this. That laser sight coming off the ghost sniper rifle. They're not they are not uh, hip shooting, are they? They're actually using their scope. That's, that's such a difference. Well, uh, there goes the income, I think, for Kawhi. What? You have six workers. How do you have six workers left? That seems crazy. There's two there. A couple in the gas. No, seriously, where are these? I guess there's three there and there's three here. Okay, a couple more running. I don't know. It's too late. Too late for me to figure this out. These adepts really... Why do they keep finishing these? I'm not sure Kawhi knows he can cancel that transfer. Because it just goes so poorly for him every time he tries it. Expanding over this way is Ellie the Dawn. Expanding down this way is Ellie the Dawn. I think you can push on this. There's a single cannon, dude. Let's go. Let's go. That Marauder skin is awesome. He looks so big and beefy. Got a big old claw on his arm for some reason. You can pick stuff up like a boss. Yeah, I mean, you scan and see there's nothing here. Go! Fight! Win! I guess he wanted a meta back. Does he have another nuke? Nope, he's not making another nuke. Scrap. Oh, he is! He just started. He heard me and was like, Ah, Falcon wants me to make, make a nuke. I will make a nuke just for him. There's nothing down here. Remember how there's nothing down here? You scanned it. There's a cannon. Where are you going with this? Why are you going this way? Bye. Oh, well, free probe, I guess. Let's go. Let's go down that ramp, Ellie. Come on. You can do it. These probes are going to wreck this mineral line, which is going to be real, real sad. Hold on. Where are they going? Probes, uh, I mean ghosts, where are you going, guys? Oh, we got a tank. Alright, well, sure. Going to make absolutely certain. You go tank. Looks like nuke is done. These guys could be doing some nuking. I'm not sure these guys have to be cloaked. Oh, 
Oh, don't walk them into the nuke. That's so mean. That is so mean you're walking them into the nuke. A little bit. Woo! -hoo! There's your hit. Everybody gonna die. Everybody here is light. Everybody is susceptible to the shots from these ghosts. Yeesh. Yeah, these ghosts are having a field day. 16 kills, and that's it. Kawhi's out. He's had enough. 15 minutes and 35 seconds. Well, all right. That's going to be it for the base rush edition of One Trick Wednesday for 2018, the inaugural episode. Again, please vote for the next one. Please vote for the next one, and we'll see what we can get. Whew. All right. That's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, One Trick Wednesday. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also subscribe to catch daily content, daily StarCraft stuff. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and, uh, what did I say? Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.